Hello and welcome to another episode of the Funnel Forecast on Back of the Net. Has anyone won that bottle opener yet? And the cross by Heffernan. And was that a foul? That's a goal anyway from Funnel. From Funnel. From Funnel. Hello, welcome back again. And here he is, the man, the legend, Tony Funnel. How are you doing, bud? Very well. Good to see you, Tony. Good to see you too, mate. And uh, we'll have a little look uh, at the balance now. Now, uh, let's see here. The balance is £9.70. West Ham did us a massive favour there, didn't they, Tony? We're 79p up. How do you feel about that? Well, we're, we're steady at the moment, aren't we? We're not really going too far up, but we're, at least we're not dropping. And no. uh, like I said, we just need to be there at the end of the season, the same as Bournemouth. That'd be great, wouldn't it? If we can get both those things happen, that'd be great. Uh, now, Man City, Bournemouth Man City. Did you catch any of the game, Tony? I didn't watch a game. <sighs> so I really can't talk about that. You can tell me something about that. Obviously, I heard uh, Southampton um, Bournemouth done well. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was very good, Tony. It was a real um, strong performance. It was a brave performance. I think... I think Bournemouth have got that bravery back that you've spoken about on many occasions before. Where you've talked about how how well you think Bournemouth play. You've talked about how brave they play. That that appears to have come back, and I think we got Man City a bit rattled. Um, and I, I we had so many chances, so many chances you just wouldn't expect us to have, including an incredible Stanislas free kick um, that just kind of couldn't quite find its way in, possibly the save of the season from their goalkeeper as well. So um, it was a good game. How do you think that would make the Bournemouth players feel going forward now after a game against Man City and doing so well? Well, when you said bravery, I struck me and thought, oh, that's it. Confidence has come back. Yeah. So obviously after that match, uh, they'll be confident in the last few days and um, going into um, the game. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be all right. Attacking performance by mm. Bournemouth. We're looking forward to that. Yeah, I think it will be a really good game. We will talk about it again later. Um, one person who doesn't have much confidence, I'm afraid, Tony. Yeah, again, you've crushed, you've crushed another person in your path, uh, and that is Paul Morgan. You just, you know, you just did away with him. Yeah, there was a few close games on there. I think um, the Burnley game. Mm. I snatched that result in the last. I was actually, I had my phone with me and I thought, oh no, one nil down. Oh, penalty, here we go. So it's the luck you need, isn't it? And there was another couple of games, the Spurs game, that could have gone either way until Harry Kane scored. And then the Everton Villa game. So it's just yes. a little, little bit of luck you need. The little bits of luck you need in everything, in life, in everything. So that's, let's see, that means you've beaten Morgan. You've beaten Adrian, you've beaten Craig, and you've beaten Steve. It's quite incredible, mate, isn't it? I mean, you're just ploughing through. <laughs> it is good. I mean, um, you never lose your competitive spirit, so you, you want to win. Yeah, of course. And, uh, yeah. Good. Well, we've got an interesting one this week. We've got another challenger for you, but um, they're not they're not with us today. So we've, we've got our challenges predictions on video and our challenger this week is Leanne and we're going to hear her predictions a little bit later on uh, but I thought we'd do our predictions first if that's okay with you yeah that's fine smashing let's have a little look then and see now oh such an interesting week we've got Norwich Burnley kicking us off Tony how do you think that one will go Well, they have been playing well, Burnley, so I'm going to go for an away win. And that could be good for the balance, bank balance if we get an away win. Yeah. I, I feel for Norwich, really. I, I can see that when I've watched them play, I can see they're trying. Um, nothing's going their way at all, is it? No, unfortunately not. But uh, although they do play some nice football on this occasion, I... I do feel Burnley to get a result. Obviously, Burnley don't score lots of goals, but I think they'll win the game. Yeah. Uh, and then we got Bournemouth against Southampton. Again, Tony, look, we're in really early with our with our big game. I know this is always a tricky one for you to predict. And 
Um, I've got a feeling, Tony. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you predict a Bournemouth win last time we played Southampton, and we did win. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously Southampton are playing uh, very well at the moment. They, they do pass the ball well, and uh, local derby, they won't mm. want to lose against Bournemouth. No, I'm, sa I'm saying all the things that you're going to get worried about, but don't <laughs> worry, I'm forecasting a Bournemouth win. Ah, oh, Tony! Don't win for Bournemouth. And there'll be Love lots it. of Southampton supporters out there that won't be happy with me, but I don't think they're mine. Because to be fair, we want both teams in the championship. We do, don't we? I mean, it makes it more interesting, uh, certainly. Um, and they're safe now, aren't they? I mean, what are they, you know, what are they playing for? Well, to be fair, they're showing that they're playing for the manager after that yeah, defeat earlier on in the season. Uh, now, when you think they could just take it easy, they're not. They're, you know, they are playing well. But I think um, the last couple of results have uh, boded well for Bournemouth, and they, they are getting more confident. So, yeah, Bournemouth to win. But uh, I mean, in my, in my ideal situation, it would be Portsmouth, Bournemouth, and Southampton all in the Premiership. Even though, even though I've been down to Portsmouth and scored a couple of goals and been caught to scummer a few times, I still love to see him up in the Premiership. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see that too, definitely. Uh, okay, we've got uh, Tottenham Leicester next. Yeah, Tottenham Leicester. Leicester in uh, fourth place. Tottenham getting a little bit of form now. I am hoping that Jose is going to shut the gates and it's going to be a draw. Mm. Okay, here's yeah. hoping there. Going for a draw, yeah. And then we've got Brighton, Newcastle. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Brighton win, home win for Brighton. Okay, good. And then Sheffield United against Everton. And I'll be playing close attention to this one, Tony, because after Southampton, Bournemouth have got Everton in the last game of the season. So um, how do you think this one might go? I think, well, I'm convinced Bournemouth will get a result against Everton. And I think Sheffield United will as well. So I'm going Sheffield United, home win. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And then we've got uh, Wolves, who've been so impressive, uh, against Crystal Palace. Yeah, I'm going to go for a, a, a Wolves win. Um, I think Palace played well the other night against United. But a lot of that is sometimes United just take it a little bit too easy and they let teams come at them. So um, I'm definitely going to go for a home win for Wolves, I think. Yeah. And then we got Watford Man City. Now, have Watford got enough left in their tank, Tony, to, to take Man City to some kind of result? Or do you think do you think Man City are gonna uh, are gonna steamroller over them? I certainly hope they haven't got anything left in their tank. I know they do have a little battle, but yeah. I looking at the league, I do think it's between Watford and Bournemouth. And uh, I think City will win this game. Mm. Yeah, way win matches City. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. And then we've got uh, Villa against Arsenal, who are going to be the villains of this piece. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, I see, Villa are playing well, but not getting the results. Um, I think I went against Arsenal this time. I'm going for an Arsenal away win, which would be good for our bank balance as well. It would be, Definitely. And there's, a, there's still the bragging rights, isn't there, for Arsenal and Tottenham and, you know... Oh, definitely, who, who, yeah. And they have picked up since Arteta's been there. You're right, they have. And then we've got uh, Manchester United against West Ham United. I'm going to go for a home win for Manchester United. I know they didn't play well the other day. They got another great result. And mm. I don't know if you've watched the game, but a couple of their patterns of play were just so quick and sharp. It was hard to watch on telly, let alone if you were the defender against it. Yeah. You know, they looked impressive when they were attacking, so I'm going to go for a Manchester United home win. Brilliant, buddy. Okay. Uh, and then we've got Liverpool against Chelsea. Last game there. Yeah, this is the one where I wasn't sure because Liverpool have let me down, but I'm going to go for a home win for Liverpool. 
Okay, brilliant. To prove and they're that, not on the beach. To prove they're not on the beach. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. I, I worried that he was going to start playing the kids, but I don't think he's going to do that now, is he? He's going to mm-hmm. he's going to play the strongest teams he can going going into the end of the season. So yeah, I think so. Yeah, you have to do that. I think to be fair to the other teams. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Okay, brilliant. Well, what we're going to do now, Tony, is we're going to use the magic uh, of back of the net, and we're going to have a little look at this video of Leanne's predictions. Hi, my name's Leanne and here's my predictions for match week 37. First up, Norwich Burnley. I'm going to go Norwich nil, Burnley 2. The big one, Bournemouth Southampton. I'd love to predict a massive Bournemouth win, but I'm actually going to predict a 1-1 draw. Tottenham Leicester, once again, I'm going to predict a 1-1 draw. Brighton Newcastle, I'm going to predict Brighton 2, Newcastle 1. Sheffield United Everton, I'm going to do a prediction of 2-0 to Sheffield United. Wolves Palace, I think it's going to be 3-0 to Wolves. Watford City, I'm going to go Watford 1, City 3. Villa Arsenal, I'm going to predict another 1-1 draw. Man United West Ham, I hope for Man United 3, West Ham 0. Liverpool Chelsea, I think it's going to be close, but I'm actually going to predict Liverpool 2, Chelsea 1. Okay, let's put on the bets. Uh, So, we're going to put on each match. Uh, We're going to put on the same amount as you can see here. And we're going to see what total we could get at the bottom of the screen. Oh, look at that. Cool. I'll tell you what, Tony, we're going to need a really good week from you. Uh, I hope we do really, really well. I'm sure we will. We've talked a little bit about the Saints game already, but we'll talk about it a little bit more if that's okay with you. Um, Thinking about uh, how Southampton have been playing, what do you think it is that's, that's made them change their season around? Is it just confidence? Has the manager found something different in those players that they didn't have before. I, I just always think back to that that rather poor result that they had earlier on in the season, around right about Christmas time, where they uh, they got they got drummed by nine, didn't they, or something like that. Yeah, um, that was a dreadful result. Yeah. And, uh, he, he definitely did something. He spoke to them for the next few days and they worked on things. Uh, they'd always pass the ball well. Um, you know, sometimes I think they pass the ball equally as good as the top teams. Mm. And they pressure teams high up the field. I mean, Manchester United, when they played Manchester United, United couldn't rest. Because as soon as they got the ball, Sir Anton were on them. You know, Pogba, he's so strong, but he was trying to turn and there's a Sir Anton player pressuring him straight away. Yeah. But at Bournemouth, they're going to expect that anyway. They know what's coming. You know, even if it wasn't in this situation, it's a local derby. Yeah. So uh, I'm oh, please God, pull her up for it. I'm sure there will be. I'm sure and there will be goals be. in the game. So yeah, I think you're right. I think this could feel like a real end-to-end kind of game. I think the goalkeepers are going to be important, um, probably more than the defenders. Maybe. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a cracker. Um, and and an interesting way. I mean, if can, if Bournemouth can get something out of it. Oh, what a boost that would be before the Everton game as well. It'd be a tremendous boost, yeah. And uh, I think uh, there'll be a lot of um, pubs around the area full up yeah. this weekend for the match. So, yeah. And I'm sure oh, I, they will do it. They've got the players. Mm. They've got players, you know, if Solanke can carry on what he has been doing and they've got Brooks and King and Wilson, Stanislas, they haven't got the players that can do it. So, yeah, come on, Bournemouth. Yeah, I love that, Tony. You filled me with confidence now going into that game. Thank you so much. That's brilliant. Uh, and that will probably do for us today. Thank you very much. So, uh, from me, uh, thank you ever so much for uh, watching the show. Oh, I completely forgot to mention it. If Leanne's predictions beat Tony, what does she win? One of these a back of the net. Coaster bottle opener. Just what you want on a sunny day. Absolutely fantastic. I almost forgot that. That would have been bad. If you'd like to, please, could you like below? Maybe you'd like to subscribe as well. 
There'll be more content coming from back of the net very, very soon. And hopefully we'll see some of you in the free for all after the game. Up the cherries.